Hey guys, we're back with another one. Um, today we'll be covering the men's and women's 4x1. We just got done finished talking about the men's and women's 400 meters final. So now we're back with the 4x1 men's and women's. So we definitely want to mention that this 4x1 was a surprising turn, especially on the men's side as well as um, the contenders that we had to win the 4x1 this time on the men's side. Um, on the women's side, we wasn't too surprised of what happened from just by looking at the 100 meter final. Now, we know that the current world record holder for the 4x1 women is definitely 40 point eight two set back in twenty twelve London which had Allison Felix, Carmine the Jetter, Tiana Madison as well as um Bianca Knight. So now we definitely saw that this is what the, the Jamaicans were aiming for, especially at the Tokyo Games this year. The Jamaicans won uh, a sensational time of twin forty one point zero two which almost got close to the world record um, the last time that time ran just a bit faster was back in 2016 when the US had to run by themselves then to qualify to win the 4x1 that also had Allison Felix on there also um, but the Jamaican this year we would thought that they would have broke the world record because they had two people that run um, One of them Shelly and Fraser ran a 10-6-3 uh, as well as Elaine Thompson who has now the Olympic record so we would have thought that um, the women Jamaican would have broke the record but sometimes you got to realize that um, if you don't have a good hand pass especially running the 4x1 you tend to lose time to hand over to the next baton to the next person now um, we also gonna congratulate the women's team for the US for actually winning silver behind the Jamaicans team um, they had a personal uh, best for the 4x1 they had um, Gina Prandini and they also had Gabby Thomas on the um, anchor leg for Gabby Thomas so and then at third place I think we had um, Great Britons and they had Dina Asher Smith on that leg as well but um, nevertheless let's not take away what they have done I think that each of them have done immensely um, good even for getting silver behind the Jamaicans team this year so that also is a big congratulations to them as well and like I said the um, Great Britain's team they did a phenomenal job as well by upsetting uh, Switzerland who had Kambunji on there as well so definitely you know these are our medalists for the um, women's 4x1 and we can't wait to see them at the world championship you know because I know that especially um, the Americans always bring back the best out of them especially like I said I will be covering the Prefontaine as well so we'll definitely see them especially in the um, Prefontaine as well especially the 200 or the 100 so we might start covering Shikari Richardson on the channel because she will be competing as well in the next uh, um, review that I might do. I just might put a shout out to see what people expect in the next video. Like I said, we will be jumping on part 2 of the 4x1. This time we will be talking about the men's side of what happened, which was more interesting because you know we had a load of men that could have got closer to you know running top end speed but you know like I said speed is not the only thing you need in a 4x1 so definitely we had the US coming in as part of the favorite but 
we also had a close second for um, that but we didn't have that much Jamaican team on the 4x1 but surprisingly we had an upset which I'm telling you throughout the years it's like Italy's getting better but we also found that that one of the team were tested positive so I'm not sure if they're gonna take their medals or I'm not sure yet but congratulations to the Italy uh, team for winning the 4x1 with a sensational time of 37.50.50 so definitely they're close to that record that the Jamaicans set, but I think the Jamaicans still have the Olympic record and the world record. So, you know, after Usain Bolt set that record, I don't think nobody's touching that 4x1 um, record as of yet for the men's side. Unless the U.S. comes up with something better for next year's world championship. But until then, congratulations to the Italy men. Now, for close bronze, I think that um, the Canadians did third place. I'm not sure who got second. I will probably have to look that over. But congratulations to our medalists. I definitely am proud of each person. And they even had Lamont Jacob, which is the gold medalist at the 100 on there. So we definitely, like I said, we had the Canadians winning third place. So that is... Um, the grass third medal because he wants bronze gold and bronze now so like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the four by four men's and women's